What's up guys, this is Luke from AndroidCrate.com. Today I'm going to be doing a full overview of the Cyanogen Mod 10 custom ROM uh, developed for all Winner A10 devices. Now in my previous video uh, I showed you how to install this, but uh, for any people who are a bit hesitant on doing it and want to see uh, what it's like, uh, I've, here, here you are. So first let's start off with notifications. See I have a few emails here. So it shows who the emails are actually from and it shows uh, overall the notification bar is just a lot more detailed. You notice here also that we don't have an X anymore to review to remove the notifications. We have this little weird icon here. So let's go into our menu and let's go to settings. Let's go down to uh, about tablet. And as you can see we are running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. So let's tap on that to get an Easter egg. And we have an Easter egg right here guys. So let's tap on that. As you can see we can swipe away our jelly beans here. I actually found another easter egg here, uh, it's a hidden cyanogen model easter egg as well, it's similar to that, it's pretty funny, uh, hold on right here. So I'll hold down that again. And we have a cyanogen mod equivalent of the easter egg, which I, I thought that was a nice thing to throw in. So let's go back, see we have, what else we can do here in our settings. So let's go to performance, proceed with caution, go into processor, you can change your minimum CPU frequency. Uh, I don't know if you can overclock yet, but uh, you can get C a set CPU for all that overclocking goodness. Let's go into developer options. And then you see, as you can see here at the top, we have like a, a master switch, if you will, for uh, developer options. You can either just turn them all off at once, or you can turn them all on. So in our developer options, we have a uh, desktop backup password, stay awake, uh, root access, because this is a rooted ROM, uh, USB debugging, your standard stuff. Show touches, uh, show GPU view updates, all this good stuff. So a lot of customization there, guys. A new feature in Jelly Bean is the separate accounts tab. Now there was a subsection for uh, accounts in uh, previous versions of Android, but in Jelly Bean they have now added a separate section for accounts. It got its very own section. So you can go into your Google account there. You can go into Add Account. You add Corporate Email or Google Account. Let's go back. Go into Security. Have your lock screen and all that stuff that you get in other versions of Android. And yeah, so here's your uh, interface. I think these are the Cyanogen mod settings. You can go into your theme chooser. There's only one theme actually pre-installed, so yeah, let's go into launcher. So you can uh, you can customize a whole bunch of stuff here, guys. Just go into your home screen, choose your grid size, the amount of home screens you have, your search bar. You can resize any widget. Uh, and yeah, a lot of stuff there. Let's go back and see more of these settings. Go into App Drawer, uh, Join with Apps, uh, Show Page Indicator, Fade Indicator, all that good stuff. Let's go into, uh, let's go into Icons. So yeah, the rest of these don't seem to be working at the moment. This is only the second actual version of the ROM, so uh, keep that in mind, guys. A lot of stuff is being fixed at the moment. Uh, so yeah, it's still in very early development stages, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's go into profiles. So you can default home, night, silent, work profiles. Uh, I haven't actually tried these out yet. So yeah, the location services and yeah, all your standard stuff, guys. So let's go out of settings and let's let's check out the lock screen of this thing. As you can see here, we have our jelly bean lock screen, a bit different from the uh, ice cream sandwich lock screen. It has this like little design, like, like a bead. Uh, it's pretty cool guys, you can go to your camera or you can unlock. So that's basically that. Let's go on to widgets. So widgets uh, now have this kind of a grey box around them now. Uh, you can basically resize any widget and if you notice here when you try to put a widget on screen, it actually moves other widgets out of the way. So yeah, if you, it, it moves other widgets out of the way to make room, which saves a lot of hassle guys. In previous versions of Android you have to resize your widgets, you have to move around just to make space and it does it for you this time which is really cool. Uh, actually in Jelly Bean most, wi wi most widgets are resizable which is really cool. Let's go on to Gmail for the hell of it. Choose account. Yeah, let's just say inbox. So let's go here. And you can resize your widget to whatever you want. And this is like basically every widget is resizable which is really cool. So yeah, and you also one more feature with that, which is that you can actually, or and shortcuts, you can just swipe them off the screen, which is kind of fun, you know, why not? 
so yeah, I, I think that's basically it for this ROM, guys. Uh, not much else stands out, but the ROM is still in development and it's getting a lot better every time. Uh, also, Google Now it doesn't come pre-installed. I don't know why. Uh, I think it came pre-installed in the first version because I've actually installed that before. But uh, it doesn't seem to be installed in this version, which is odd. It could be because of compatibility issues. I don't know. But uh, sure, I think the developer will get on that quickly. So yeah, guys, this has been an overview of the Cyanogen Mod 10 custom ROM for all Winner 810 devices. Uh, you should check it out, guys. Uh, again, thanks to XDA for doing this. You guys are awesome. You deserve all the credit uh, in the world. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, check out AndroidCrate.com for the latest Android news and reviews. Uh, yeah, give the videos a thumbs up if you want. If you have any questions, uh, just comment below and I'll be sure to answer you. If you want to see uh, any other videos, if you have any requests, please let me know, guys. Send them my way. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.